Hey everybody, it's another great day for a workout here on Jessica Smith TV. Today's routine is standing Pilates for flat abs. So we're gonna start standing here with your feet together, knees are slightly bent. Think about squeezing your inner thighs together and most importantly, we wanna brace the abs in tight to the spine. At the same time, we're gonna press the shoulders down the back and keep the tailbone pointing straight down to the floor. So your pelvis is nice and neutral, you're not tucking it under, you're not pushing it back. So bracing the abs in nice and tight. You can just kind of keep your fingertips light on them to make sure that they're drawing in. We're just going to alternate lifting one leg at a time. And I want you to point through your toe and kind of really work through the feet here as an added bonus. Toe ball healing it as you lift and as you lower. And I want you to feel those abs getting stronger as that knee is lifting up. Good, so this is just our warm up. We're just getting in touch with those abdominals, going really deep into that contraction. From here, we are gonna start to add some arms. So reach both arms down by your sides to start, nice and long spine, and your opposite arm is just gonna sweep up by your ear as you lift that knee. So my supporting leg is still staying slightly bent. I'm still working through the feet here, and I still want you to think about really connecting that knee lift to those abdominals. Draw the belly button in tight. Your breathing can be nice and natural here. In and out as you feel comfortable. Good, give me four more and four and lower. Three, really nice, last two. One more, beautiful. Extend the legs and now we're gonna point this foot forward. Toe is pointed nice and long, leg is as straight as it can be. Standing knees a little soft. Fingertips light on the back of your head, elbows are open. We're gonna go into a single side bicycle. So I want you to exhale into the leg and lift it slightly off the floor. Exhale for two. Inhale center. Now as I'm twisting, thinking about my rib cage drawing in tighter to my spine, elbows are wide. Good, now let's go just a little bit faster. We're gonna go eight and center, seven, tap that foot nice and light, six, don't pull on your head, this is five, good, and four, three, give me two more, you got it. Twist, last time. Beautiful, let's just take it down, let your arms rest for a sec. We're gonna try that on the other side, extending the opposite leg, pointing the toe, softening the standing leg, fingertips light, we start slower. Exhale for two, and inhale. So really test the balance here. Sometimes going slower is actually more challenging, right? Opening the elbows, you're really turning through the upper body, not just the elbows. Exhale it out. Let's go for those eight, single tempo, and eight, and tap the floor. Seven, try not to step on that foot. Six, just the toes lightly touching down. Five, good, and four, nice. Three, give me two more. One more time. Beautiful, let's step the feet wide apart now. We're just gonna turn out the knees slightly with the toes pointing outwards. Arms out to your side, pressing down your back. Keep those abs in really tight for me. We're just gonna do a little twist through your upper body. I want you to think of really exhaling, drawing in at the rib cage. Inhale, come center, other side. Exhale. Now my hips are gonna stay facing forward, so I really want you to lock that lower body into place. You're rotating around the spine through that upper half. Good, now from here, we're gonna come down and across, reaching your opposite hand as low as it'll go. As you come up, you're gonna slide this outside foot in and give me a little twist. Let's do that again nice and slow. So we step out and rotate, standing saw, and then you're gonna slide the heel in, rotate, look back over your shoulder. We got it, can we go just a little bit faster? So we're gonna come down and lift, and down, and lift. If you want, you can look back over the back fingertips, rotating a little further, tap it down, squeeze it up. Let's do four more on this side. Down and lift, beautiful. Three and lift, give me two more, step it out wide and up one more time. Go to the outside of your foot or leg and squeeze and hold it. Good, so let's set it up on the other side. Just take your feet nice and wide. So let's start with that rotation to the other side. Just the rotation, standing tall, 
and center. Give me a big exhale as you twist. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, rotate, keep that pelvis steady. One more time, exhale. Good, so slowly first for the first two. We're gonna reach down and across that leg, looking up if you can, slide that heel in and rotate. Running into my curtains here. Come out and down and exhale, rotate. So let's go just a tiny bit quicker, nothing rushed. Down and twist, inhale and exhale you got it now if you can't quite get to your foot just reach to the outside of your leg maybe it's your shin maybe it's your knee that you can get to you know we're all about making it work down and across exhale and twist you got this three more inhale and exhale keep those shoulders pressing away from your ears keep your arms nice and strong last one inhale exhale bring it in Gorgeous. Relax your arms. Let's work a little more of the back side of the body, but still working your abs. Just gonna turn sideways so you can see this better. Knees are soft, inner thighs are squeezing. I'm gonna hinge forward slightly from my hips. Keep that nice long spine, keep the abs really drawing in tight. Arms are gonna come down by our sides. I want you to extend your front leg behind you and your back arm up by your ear. Looks like this. You're gonna inhale, reach long. Exhale, come down, switch sides. Inhale, reach it, and down. Good, so as you extend, just keep alternating legs. What we don't wanna do is pop open the rib cage and kinda arch the back here. Keep it nice and neutral. Your abs are gonna help you do that. And really try to extend as long as you can with your energy out through your fingertips and that back pointed foot. Inhaling up exhaling down so just kind of use your breath to guide you you might be with my tempo maybe you're at a different pace that's absolutely fine good and reach and down let's do a couple more here you got it last one now let's just take it up and find our balance I want you to hold it here extending that arm and leg find your balance you still have that slight little tilt forward so we're in a nice diagonal line from here we're gonna bring the back elbow and front knee together I want you to turn to the sides so you're gonna exhale twist and reach it now if you need a little help tap the back toes down ready here we go we're gonna exhale in and extend in and extend twist and reach make sure you come back out to that nice long line exhaling and inhaling exhaling and inhaling give me one more hold it hold it good now let's see if we can take it forward pitching down and lifting up here's the deal if you need to modify back foot can stay down we want the spine to stay nice and long inhale down for two exhale up yes it's a balance challenge okay if we wobble softening that standing knee just a little use your feet here really engage through the toes and the arch of your foot press down and lift almost there press down and lift now I want you to take that flat back forward with or without the leg and just hold it abs in tight 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 to the spine so all of that bracing helps create those strong flat drawn in abs for you bring your feet together hands to the thighs just roll it up stacking the spine good let's take that again now we're gonna do the other leg but we're gonna go back to the alternating first I'm just gonna turn to the other side feet together knees soft hinge forward keep that nice neutral spine abs in tight front leg back arm reach come back in and switch so the knees are soft supporting leg then you're going to extend the leg out as straight as you can as it sweeps up and back behind the body nice deep full breaths again making sure that we're not popping open through the rib cage good so we'd always have to do crunches on the floor to engage those abs and you may not feel this workout quite the same as you do when you're doing those traditional exercises for the abdominals but we're training those muscles to do what we want them to do which is lie flat and support the spine right so all of that work has merit let's take that front side and hold it finding your balance 
So now we're gonna take the back elbow to the front knee and you're gonna turn your body into it. Exhale, rotate and reach. Again, tap the floor with the back toe if you need to. Exhaling as you twist, inhaling as you reach. Good. And twist, how's Peanut doing back there? Is she sleeping? This music, I think, puts her to sleep. <laughs> Give me two more, really rotate. And last one, reach it long, find your balance, hold it. Remember, you can keep the back foot on the floor if you need to. Give me that pitch forward and lift it up. So think of keeping that back arm right by your ear. Back leg stays in line with the hip. Inhale down. Exhale up, that's it. Looking at the floor as we hinge and coming up, good. So remember, you're gonna see me wobble and wiggle too. I'm definitely not perfect. The more we practice our balance, the stronger we get. One more, please. Here we go, hinge it forward and come up. Let's bring the feet together and just take a little stretch. Inhale, round the spine, tuck that tailbone. Exhale, give me a big arch, look up to the ceiling. Do it again, inhale and exhale. Good, now just keep those knees soft, walk your fingertips to the floor and stretch the legs as straight as you comfortably can. Relax your head, neck and shoulders. Pull the belly button into the spine. We're gonna slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time, making ourselves as tall as possible at the top. Roll the shoulders down the back. Good. See if you can keep that nice tall posture with you for the rest of your day today. Thanks so much for working out with Peanut and I, or maybe just me. We look forward to sweating with you guys again soon. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you thought of the video. Tell me what videos you'd like to see so we can create more fun free workouts for you guys. Have a great one and take care.